So tonight I'd like to go over my laptop that I got recently. Um, well, I guess recently is a, t a weird way of saying it. I got it about a year ago. Um, this is an Aspire E15, as you can see by the specs. It's a really good performing laptop. Um, I only have a few problems with it. But um, it's really great because it processes things at great speeds, like flagship games. Now I got this as a set, and so it came with this mouse, and it came with this laptop carrying bag. The laptop carrying bag is pretty awesome because it has a lot of pockets. It's waterproof, I believe. Um, lots of space in it. And it fits this laptop just right. This screen is a wonderful screen. You can tell it's got great clarity and everything. However, it's also meant to be upgraded, so you can take this screen apart and put something nicer in its place. However, I'm not that tech savvy, so I wasn't intending on doing that. The computer had other ideas though, and decided just to take itself apart. <laughs> and it happened in one night, and then from there it just got worse. Um, so eventually I had to just you know, super glue it along the edges, you can see it over here, and I had to put duct tape on it. And it was really disappointing because it's such a great computer, and that was my, my biggest problem with it. This back portion right here popped out, we had to super glue it back together, and it's just been a little bit of a challenge to keep it like this ever since. I usually don't even close it anymore. Another thing I really like about this Acer laptop is this touchpad. It hardly ever gives me issues. I get very cold hands and I get very low heart rates, which are two of the things that they usually um, are sensing when they look for movement. I don't have that problem with this computer. The keys are nice spaced apart. They're in the QWERTY version, so it's very easy to find the keys I want to strike. Um, I haven't worn through it yet, which is crazy because I'm a writer. I am always on this thing every night. Um, and all of the keys still work. Um, one other thing that does peeve me a little bit is this numlock key though. Every time this goes into sleep mode, every time I turn it off, anytime I close that lid in sleep mode or anything, that numlock clicks back on. So I use these keys a lot, and I always have to click it back on every time I want to go ahead and try to use those numbers again. It came with Windows 10, however, so as you can tell, it's got the search bar, it's got the little pop-up menu. So people who are familiar with Windows 10, you can rest assured you'll know your way around. Um, and if you don't know your way around, it does have that little search down there, which is great says it down here 8 gigabytes uh, of memory and it's got an NVIDIA card the NVIDIA however is another problem um, because this could double as a gaming laptop a very very slow gaming laptop but it can um, the NVIDIA game um, video card that's what it is versus the internal one that comes stock on this they tend to compete. So if you're playing Minecraft or any other games, like I've got Terraria, I've got Factorio, and uh, Fallout 4, if you're trying to use any of those, you're going to have to kind of toggle with your, your settings first. You're going to have to go into your controls. You're going to have to make sure that NVIDIA is turned on and not your internal, or you're going to wind up allocating way too much RAM and it's going to sl slow your game down really bad. You're going to lag a lot. I have large Word documents. I've got a lot of um, research documents. And this really helps um, having so much different memory because then I can, I can just keep going. And I have an external hard drive, but I don't have to use it as much. 
It also does come with a disk drive, so you're not going to have as many flash drive ports. I've got three. This one's for the mouse that came with it. This is for my fan, and then I've got one more right here. So you don't have an Ethernet port, just so you know. But you do have a disk drive. So if you have disks with, you know, photos and stuff like that on there, and you're trying to digitize them, that'll be very helpful. Um, if you prefer to have a wired mouse, it's not too bad. Um, the disk drive, it does work well. In case you are wondering, because I'm sure you haven't seen it yet, the power button, it is hiding over here. <laughs> so, this is where you'll find it. Uh, it's a good com computer, easy to upgrade, just has its little flaws.